Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about new scenario in SQL Server Analysis Services Tabular model. So please try to watch all my previous videos so that you'll get more understanding on different technologies like SQL Server Developer and Performance Tuning, Power BI Index, and Integration Services as well as Analysis Services. Now we'll go to the SQL Visual Studio there we can understand today's video demo. So opening the Visual Studio, here I'll try to create a project and after that I'll try to so load the data from different data source like SQL Server as well as Excel data source. We'll do one by one. Okay, let's start. Go to the file menu. So click on new project. So here you can see that analysis services under analysis service multidimensional and tabular okay so here i am trying to choose tabular model only so here you can see that the tabular project as well as import from power pivot as well as import from server okay out of these three i'll try to choose the first one analysis services tabular project so here we need to give the what is the solution so we can give some sample ssis project okay you can give anything that is as for our wish and this is the location where this solution has been stored okay so this is the location if you want you can change by clicking the browse option okay now i'll try to click on okay so here we can see that there are two options so one is integrated workspace another one is uh, so workspace server so here so we, we need to give the server name for timing i'm giving the local host so if you want you can check the connection so for timing i'll try to click on test connection so connection is succeeded even you can check the compatibility level even if you want you can change the so previous versions also for timing i'm using the sequence around 2019 version so in pre going forward i'll try to explain previous versions also okay now click OK. Now it's creating the project. Here we can see that a tabular model explorer and a solution explorer. Okay. So there are a couple of options here. We can see that so calculation groups, data sources, expressions, KPAs, measures, perspectives, relationship, roles, tables, translation, many things are there. So we'll try to discuss one by one going forward. So now, once solution has been created, we'll try to import data from SQL Server as well as Analysis Server, as well as, sorry, Excel. Okay, we'll try to do that. So here we can see that data source option. If you right click, now we can see that there are two options import from data source as well as new data source so we'll try to see the difference between import from data source as well as new data source also first i am trying to check okay import from data source now it's starting opening the data sources now we can see that there are many different data sources available to import data for example, all means it's combination of different data data sources like whether it is relational or cloud or flat files. Many things has been combined. When it comes to a specific, for example, file means only file related data sources. Database means database related. Likewise, we can so categorize based on the type. For example, in this case, I'm using sql server database to import data so just click on select click on connect now it's asking the server name as well as the database here giving the database as optional we can provide the server name so let me check what is the server name so click on database engine so try to copy and so we can give it here so database is optional 
no need to specify here itself if you want we can specify there is no problem on that just click on ok now it's asking so passwords like a windows level or database or microsoft account for timing i'm giving the windows credentials right so so username is dell and password is i have to give okay so click and connect okay no problem now it will list out all the databases that are available in the particular server okay we'll try to see that now you can see that in this server there are 16 databases and we can see all these are databases okay what are the tables you want from any database we can select for timing i am trying to choose tables from this database okay just click on select on database okay Now it, it, it's taking time to load all the tables. So now we can see that in this server, in this database, there are 64 tables are there. How many tables? 64. So I will try to select what are the tables are required to build my solution for timing, dim geography, and product, category, subcategory, and dim customer and uh, uh, fact internet sales sales territory so these are the tables i have selected from this data base now so he you can see that load transform data and cancel like in power bi desktop also same kind of uh, user interface is there for example if you are trying to import data from so any data whether it is excel or sql server you will see these options like load transform data cancel okay going forward i will try to focus on these three options for timing i'm trying to click on load okay load now it's loading so we'll see that okay now we can see that it's processing is progress still seven tables are we are loading still it's going on sometimes it will take based on the volume of data it will take some time so in, in my example data has less number of records only not more than that okay it's success it means that what are the data we are trying to pull everything loaded now we can see that so dim geography dim product category subcategory customer everything what are the tables we are selected and in adventure works dw all tables are loaded successfully so likewise you can import data from the sql server so now we'll try to extract uh, import from the excel we'll try to see that okay again so data source not only here you can see that the model so here also option again here also import from data source like uh, different places you can find the same option import from data source here also as well as go to model here also wherever you want you can click it no problem so import from data source i'm trying to click on excel connect so okay let me test okay so two point let me check where the file exactly located okay this is the file i want to load okay let me load it now it's asking credentials let me give it click on connect
and now we can see that in this excel file how many tables are there seven tables are so we can select what are the tables you want to do so category customer geography internet sales product and the sales directory subcategory just click on load okay so this is kind of preview even in a power by desktop also same kind of is there just click on load now it's trying to load data from the excel so earlier we have loaded from the sql server now we are loading into the excel okay successful okay so likewise we can import data from the sql server as well as excel file in remaining data sources also we can do the same thing what you have done like this for example if you notice here we can see that from where it has been loading and this is the where it has been there are two data sources are there okay so in going forward we'll try to understand how to build the relationship between the dimension tables and fact tables so we'll see we'll try to explore different different options so that's all for today i think i hope you will like this video if you have any questions or queries you can send me an email or drop your comments in the comment section so that i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you so much for watching thank you guys